الحمد لله رب العالمين فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وأتي الله وأتي الرسول للأمر منكم and always a reminder for myself and I'm the Qur'aji Sudaif wa miskeen wa zalim wa jahal remember for the grace of Allah that we are still in existence. Alhamdulillah the holy month of Zul Qidah and the secret of 99 that's a nine and the sultanat multiplied by the reality of 11 and the reality of 11 is a Divine mirror. The one of La ilaha illallah wanting to be known and created creation which is Muhammadun Rasulullah This eleven, this mirror is the secret of the way that when you want to reach to the reality you have to go through the door. You want to get into the palace you have to go through its entry. And Allah describes everything has a proper door and enter every home from that front door. Means to enter into the reality of La ilaha illallah to the love and ishq of Allah it's a reflection and that reality you have to enter is Muhammadun Rasulullah Should make every common sense that how can you go to your Creator dirty, bad-mannered, bad intention, incorrect understandings. So there must be one whom lays the laws and sets the rules and teaches the protocols. Means the one whom for all of creation cleans the creation, gives them the protocol for, pro, for proceeding and moving towards the Divine the Presence and that is Muhammadun Rasulullah that that reality comes into our life to teach us, to bless us, to dress us and to fragrance us. And the tajalli of the man subhanahu man dul mulki wa malakut, the one whom is the owner of the two realms of anything of mulk means anything from the manifest creation. Anything throughout these universes that is manifesting is the realm of mulk. And anything that is not manifesting in the world of light and unseen is the malakut and infinite realities within the malakut, best realities and Allah is Lord over all of them, Creator over all of them. And all of mulki wa malakut has been given to Sayyidina Muhammad sakhallakum ma fi samawati wa ma fi lard wa jamiyan. And that whatever you configure between them Allah has subjected to the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad whatever is between the created and uncreated, the manifest and unmanifest realms is all been given to that authority, Malik al-Hayyat wa Malik al-Dunya. The, the king of the dunya and the king of life for the unmanifest is another way of calling that which is not manifesting is the secret of Hayat and the secret realms of existence. So alhamdulillah that Allah granted for us to enter into this month and the month of zilzala the month of earthquake, the month in which the Holy Qur'an is dressing the earth to bring out what is hidden. Anything that is hidden has to come out and if what is hidden is something good then alhamdulillah Allah to bring its reality out. Every quaking and every shaking exposes what's hidden within. Means both good and bad. So when people are, are shook and shook then what comes out of them is either good or bad. And when the bad comes out then they must realize that badness. And if the good comes out then alhamdulillah dress them and bless them and bringing their reality out for them to approach closer and closer to the Divinely Presence. 
We pray that in these holy months that Allah made it a month also for seclusions that many though many of those who have been trained in the way of reality that they are secluded in the month of Zul Qidah so that Allah to complete His favours upon their soul. Means the immensity of the light that is coming from the Divinely Throne where we describe from Ramadan was ghashiyah to be dust, to be obliterated. Subhanamandul mulki wa malakut, Subhanamandul arshiya ma yasifoon last month is that those dust and the nothing to be presented to the Divinely Throne and then the holy month of Zul Qidah in which the One dresses the One, the Divinely Mirror in which Allah sends the dress of Divinely Presence onto that reality to dress it and to bless it. As a result of those tajallis everything is quaking. Because the tajalli is so great Allah shake everything, everything in creation is shakes in this holy month because of the tajalli. Because of the immensity of the tajalli which is a very jalali, which is a majestic tajalli in which cracks everything and what comes out then Allah exposes that if it was good alhamdulillah and they praise Allah alhamdulillah Ya Rabbi for what goodness is coming out and if bad they ask Allah forgiveness Ya Rabbi, forgive us for the bad that we hide within ourselves then inshaAllah Allah to bring it and to clean it, to dress it and to perfect the characters of insan and ashiqeen, those whom are lovers of Sayyidina Muhammad and with all their zeal they struggle in the way to make Allah happy. Means immense glad tidings for all those whom support, all those who send their support, all those who send their comments, all those whom send their links everything that everyone doing to get the attention of Allah the attention of Sayyidina Muhammad the attention of awliyaullah fi samahi wa fil ard that their nazar be upon us, all our actions, all our deeds, all those whom struggling in the way to perform those deeds, to, to perform those actions, to give and to sacrifice from what they have and give into the way and to give to the path. The ones whom running around and, and giving food and identifying locations and wells and everything manageable, possible, whatever people are doing of their khidmat that Allah inshaAllah to dress it, to bless it and to grant us this year a beatific hijrah, a beatific presence in Divinely Presence that we all make intention for hajj. That Ya Rabbi I don't know if my physicality will be going but I'm going with all my heart and soul. That Allah to dress us on our hajj, to bless us with our hajj means these are the dresses that we are in need of to complete this year. That if the, all the tajallis Allah has dressed then to bring that soul into the Divinely mirror and the perfection of the mirror is the one that has the realities, not us, we have nothing. Our life was just to clean, to do our zikr, to do our service so that what happens when you're presented to a mirror if you're clean? You reflect what the mirror is reflecting on to you. The purpose of your zikr, your cleaning, your service, every sin is washed away with khitmat. Khitmat brings a rahmah. We said before that your salah it requires to be judged, every action requires a judgment except that which we do by love. There's nothing to judge from love. Allah doesn't say that love wasn't good enough. Whatever the servant can do of their khidmat is a sign of their love and ishq. If they bring a cup of water Allah doesn't say, well you should have brought more. They brought the cup of water, they get the reward for a cup of water. If all they had was a cup of water to give, Allah gives them oceans of abundance. So it means love is not something that can be judged. Allah gives the gift of that love. So it means the greatest, the greatest that we have is our service, our khidmat, our service. 
and our service with our life, with our time, with our wealth, with our provision, with our ability, our faculty, our thought, our feet, whatever that we can do, that khidmat, that service washes away every type of difficulty like a polishing, polishing, polishing. Because we are not capable of a light, we're not claiming we have a light, we're not claiming that we, we can reach to anything. But what now they're finding out? Some crazy people said, oh let's, let's make a sun, that's a crazy nafsani person. Let's make a sun and compete with Allah No, but somebody with a aqal and a good heart said, no why we have to make a sun, why don't we just make a mirror and reflect the sun? And if we take the power that is already there, why we have to try to replicate it and replicate something so divinely unimaginable, why we don't just take the mirror, shine it at the sun? And if the mirror is, is purified enough, it reflects the sun like a, a weapon. So now the military is making very purified mirrors. I think they, they had it in one of the Batman or Superman movies because they understood this is tariqah that they go in front of the sun and they realize the purity of the mirror they use. If they even they use a, a cheap mirror in the presence of that sun, it will reflect an immense power. And imagine where you shine that reflection will burn through everything. Now imagine if the mirror is much more purified. Of, a sub, of sustenance and, and of purity, how much it can convey the reflection of that sun. And that's all that tariqah is coming and inspiring to people, that do your khidmat, do your prayers, do everything Allah has asked of us, be of service. This service, this love, this way is immense washing, cleansing, washing, cleansing, why? So that every time you meditate and contemplate your soul is a purified mirror and as a result that mirror goes in the presence of that sun, S-U-N, an immense dress and reflection. And this is the reality of the shaykhs that they're not claiming they're something. That's why these people who don't understand the reality of tawheed, this is the month and the reality of eleven which is the immense reality of tawheed. The first usul, the first principle of Islamic law is tawheed and oneness. And when people have no mind they think, oh the tariqahs they are multiplicity. They're all over the place thinking there's multiple and say, no, no you, you don't really understand oneness. That this immensity of oneness is that this La ilaha illallah is a power that nothing and no one can harness that power except but one. And Allah says, if I speak to the mountain it would be dust because Allah by humility talks about the power, Divinely powers as a speech because Qur'an is Allah's speech. If I reveal my Qur'an to the mountain it will be dust but we reveal it to the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad So it means what? That Allah's power is a, is a power reflecting to His most purified mirror. The reality of Sayyidina Muhammad is the Divinely mirror. And Prophet described, I'm the shadow of Allah upon this earth. That Divinely mirror means that the reality of Allah that everyone is searching for is everywhere but nowhere. Means it's everywhere but how are you going to find it and say, oh this is Allah stuff, it's impossible. But it's reality and it's source that Allah wounds for us. Is that find Muhammadun Rasulullah He is the reflection of my Divinely Presence 
So then when you're seeking that reality, who are you really seeking? Allah It's all based on Allah But the tariqah keeps the manners and its immense reality that we all want La ilaha illallah. But Allah says, you're not going to find it like that, you don't have the capacity to, to carry that, you're not that, that mirror, you're not that one. But that one is Muhammadun Rasulullah And that reality of Prophet perfectly without imperfection, Khuluqul Azeem, these codes that Allah gives in Holy Qur'an you are of a magnificent character as if Allah describing His satellite that, I created you without imperfection. Your mirror has no imperfection because every imperfection in the mirror leaves out something of a reflection. So imagine the sun is shining but you have a big circle on your mirror broken. Well the sun is going to reflect everything but what hits that broken piece. So means the one that whom Allah is describing that my reflection is perfectly reflected through your reality, that's why khuluqul adheem, you are of a magnificent character. There's no impurity and imperfection. Hudan al-muttaqeen, what is it? Alif lamim dhalika al-kitab la rayba fi. There's no crookedness in your kitab, you are my walking book, you are the walking reflection. There is nothing of an imperfection within you As a result you perfectly reflect Divinely Presence. So as you're running to Muhammadun Rasulullah in actuality you are running to Allah's reflection to you. It's only but one light, there's no two. If they understood that, they would understand tawheed. There's not but two, there's no two lights, it's one light. The ocean of La ilaha illallah that everyone wants to search for. Allah said, you can't get that reality, the purified, the perfected reality except through the door of Muhammadun Rasulullah with no imperfection it reflects towards creation. And then all the lovers and awliya, sahabi and ahlul bayt above all, they were the satellites of Muhammadun Rasulullah As a result of their existence, the ones whom heard and saw that source of light, they became so purified in their soul and their reality that they perfectly reflected the light of Muhammadun Rasulullah And that's why Prophet described, my companions are all like stars, means I purified them. I'm reflecting my light through them, any one of them that you follow you will be guided because these are all satellites from Prophet presence. And they are reflections of Allah's light because remember it's just one source, Allah sending one light, it hits to Muhammadun Rasulullah and perfectly reflects back out. And whoever Prophet is sending that light to, again that's from Allah and then they send it back out and then they send it back out. And they're all those whom kept the way and kept their love and kept coming and cleaning, coming and cleaning, they're asking also to be dressed by that satellite. And as a result as soon as that light began to hit them, it began to wash them, cleanse them, take every badness away from them. And it comes from the door of Muhammadun Rasulullah as his light comes begins to clean and take away the imperfections of the mirror. Shahidan, Mubashiran wa Naveeran, Allah is describing the soul of Prophet when his soul's light comes to you he's a witness over you, he's witness shahidan, this old Qur'an, Mubashiran. 
Ubashiran means immense amounts of beatific lights are being reflected upon because his light is coming and Mubashir is sending all these blessings and blessings upon the soul. And Naviran that his light's cleaning every imperfection on your satellite. And you are being dressed by Allah's light because Muhammadun Rasulullah first comes the light of Muhammad Rasulullah comes, cleans, purifies and then the light of Allah begin to dress upon the soul in perfection. We pray that Allah grant us this love, grant us the immensity of these blessings, grant us a heart to understand these realities and to be dressed by these realities inshaAllah. Subhan rabbika rabbal izzat amma yasifoon, salaamun al mursaleen, walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha.